my name is Kyle Thomas, and uh, this is my wife Kayla, and this is our 1977 GMC Bandura. All right, guys, uh, I just met you guys today. We're at the Iron Invasion in Davenport, Iowa. Um, tell me a little bit about the van, because I know it's Kayla's, not yours. Correct. You ride motorcycles I ride and mini bikes. bikes. This is her This car. is her van. Yeah. So you tell me about the van. So basically, I drive it, and he rides a strapper. So we got this from a guy out in Quincy. We actually found it at Vintage Short Fest. He rolled up on him and he said, hey, I'll sell it to you for what I got it for you. Because I fell in love with this thing and I've been trying to find it everywhere. And just so happened, we came to Torque Fest and here it was. What, now you said you were looking for a van. Yes. What is it that you like about vans? I mean, what is there not to like? I, I love the interior. We, it's our home away from home. We basically live out of this thing. Every weekend, we go camping, we go touring, we drive all over. And you guys, you have a trailer for the mini bikes that hooks to the back of yeah. the camper. Yep. So I ride, I race mini bikes and I ride choppers. So we got a trailer that we hook to it and we tour all over and we do like mini bike racing or chopper events and she drives a van and then I get to ride two wheels everywhere we go. It works out perfect. Right, because this is a this is a three-quarter ton van, right? Yeah, yeah. So it's even though it's a shorty, yeah. it's a three-quarter ton, exactly. which makes it kind of weird. So you're able to tow a regular trailer if you want. Yeah. Oh, we, yeah. we tow a 16-foot enclosed trailer behind it. It's got a crate 350 we put in it. And I haven't anything in so long. And, uh, yeah, she rips. What, um... So obviously it's made it to where you guys can enjoy both of your hobbies at the same time exactly it's a win-win that was the purpose right yeah. so right. we'd go to chopper events and there'd always be cool vans and uh thanks beer assistant <laughs> and it just works perfect right choppers and vans they go hand in hand so she she loved the van so she had to have it and uh yeah thank First you I, I don't i'm so i've been i Revert back to that me being in jail too many times thing. Uh, yeah. I quit doing that for that reason. Smart man. <laughs> Smart man. Um, now, uh, where do you guys live at? We're actually a little south of Rockford, Illinois. We're in a place called Stillman Valley. It's a little close to Byron. Okay. And have you guys been there your whole lives? or? Well, we grew up, we were born and raised in Rockford. Okay. And then we moved out yeah. and moved down to Stillman. We moved out of the city and bought some yeah, property so we could... You know, like do stuff yeah yeah exactly and how long have you two been together what well, you answer that <laughs> we're at 13 and a half years so, and crazy. how did you guys meet um my best friend was dating her sister okay when we were really young so you guys school. got married they probably broke up I mean, yes yeah. Yeah, 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 100%. 100%. Yeah. yeah our wedding anniversary is actually next week yeah actually yeah next weekend is our anniversary five years married okay 13 years together awesome how old are you guys? I'm 36. I'm oh, okay. And she's 30. Oh, yeah. Good on you. I'm 38, so I'm a couple of years older than both of you. Right on. Um, and were you already into bikes before yeah, you guys? I, always. Well, always. Yeah, kind of. I always had, like, hot rods. I grew cars, up. My dad built BMX. cars. He's always been a mechanic. I rode bikes, and then I started mm -hmm. building bikes and you know, racing mini bikes and hot rods you know, like we've all, I've always been in kind of in the culture yeah yeah and obviously you guys are do it yourself it's a very DIY yeah no we try to do as much as possible on our own like yeah. if I can't do it I'll research it till I can make it happen like, right and that's a big thing that's something I'm very big about and with this whole deal I'm doing is that I want to show that like you don't need to be afraid no and that yeah. you just, just dive in and that's go that's all you gotta do yeah can't say you can't unless you try. There you go. I mean, you told me you just bought a crate motor and, and yeah, I'm going no, to him. him and his buddy. I just yeah. ordered it off at of Jags. I don't know shit about shit about motors. I build bikes. I don't know shit right. about cars. Yeah. So I had a, a couple buddies come over and we tore the front end off of this. We yanked the motor out and we threw a fucking crate motor. And you yeah. figured it out. Yeah, we yeah. figured it out, exactly. And it's the same thing about bikes, right? Like, you probably didn't yeah. know about bikes. I didn't bikes. know anything about bikes, no. I, I never even rode, like, I rode bicycles and then I was like, all right, I'm going to go two wheels and 
You do a little research. You got good friends. You mm -hmm. learn from each other. You just, you just do it. You just do it. Yeah. yeah. What, um, now, how many bikes do you have? <laughs> right now? Yeah. Running uh, or? Yeah, like yeah, right that here. you could get on and ride. About five. About five. five Full-blown motorcycles. Pre-84 Harley Davidson. Pre-84 Harley. Harleys. That's your. Choppers, yeah. Right, right, That's right. That's all I do. Okay. That's what I do, yeah. Pre-84 Harley Davidson's all day. What's your favorite bike that you got? I got a 59 Pan, I, I would say, is my favorite. Okay. That's my favorite bike, yeah. I like that. I like your 77. Well, I have a 7. My, well, like, I think it was my second bike I ever built was a 77 shovel head, like, white long chopper with a proper Harley Springer. It's pretty dope. I think I might have seen that bike you've, before. You've pro I've it's been have. around. It's been around a long time. Yeah, because you guys got, have always come to John's always, shows, yes. right? Yes. Right. Yeah. So it's been we've crossed paths shows. before. Yeah. Uh, oh, for sure. Guaranteed. Um, now, what are your plans, other just to drive this thing right now, or is there? Have you already been like? It's hard to want to change the thing, the van right. at all, right? Because it's it almost like a built, time you know, capsule. Exactly. It's like our true survivor. The yes. interior, I, like I'm lying on the bed right now as we do this in the back yeah. of it. Yes. The only thing I really want to do is yeah. just redo this. Yeah. But I want to make it the same car. I want to make it back to what it was originally. Right. Find some more like, of the original yes. carpet and right. do exactly. that. Up. I don't want to do anything modern. Like I want to keep it. In There's the actually show. a guy here you should talk to. Yeah. His name's Nate. He, uh, he's Vinyl Lux Upholstery. He lives in Minnesota. He's friends with Zach okay. from Heavy. But Nate mm -hmm. is an upholsterer. He has, like, this Mondo collection of, like, vintage Naga hide and stuff. Mm -hmm. But he could probably point you in the direction of where yeah, you can dude. Get also, yeah. We don't need a whole lot. Like, yep, this, just this, this old Well, this I'll link you up after this video. Hell yeah. Um, so, you guys... I mean, you go around like that's that's your main yeah your main we just, thing. We go to chopper events and vanning vanins and camp yeah, out, so we'll we get on the weekends. With we go the kids. to swap meets. Like we'll take the yeah. kids out. Like we, oh, you guys got kids? Yeah, yeah, yeah. How many kids you guys have? Two. And they do they enjoy? They love it. Yeah, mm -hmm. I'm sure well, they love the van baby, now. Our right? baby was raised in this van. Yeah. Really. Okay. We've been everywhere with her in this van. Um, do you guys both work? Yeah. No, yeah. I work. Yeah. She's I a full-time mom. Full-time mom. What do you do mm -hmm. for a living? I, I build machine tools for a living. Okay. Yeah. So you're basically, you're a machinist for machinists. Yeah, essentially, yeah. <laughs> yeah. I build machines for machines. Yeah. For machinists. Yeah. 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 So it's like the ultimate, it's like machinist squared. <laughs> Almost. Yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah. And how long have you been doing that? Oh, man. I've been employed at my yeah. current job for 15 years oh wow yeah built That's machines awesome. before that i ran machines so i've always like been around either mechanic my dad my, my dad has been a, he just retired 47 years as an auto mechanic he said do not work on cars and i said okay dad i won't work on cars so i started working on machines <laughs> yeah and i started running machines and i came right out of high school i didn't even graduate high school i went straight to running machines Oh, awesome! And then I started building machines, and that's all and I here did. you are. Yeah, yeah. I'm a bo I'm a I'm a machines. body man and painter by trade. Really? That's what I do. Awesome. But yeah, your dad was right. Like, it's, don't work on cars. No, don't work on cars. <laughs> yeah, it's a love and hate. Exactly. Yeah. It blows he, my mind. Like people cars, say you know, that like, we had twenty three T bucket when I was a kid. Right. Like, I grew up at car shows, but he was like, don't like don't ruin your passion as a hot you know like don't right. ruin your hobby as a as a full-time job yeah and i've always lived by that mm -hmm. like i love building bikes and people were like let's open a bike shop and i'm like i don't want to do that yeah i just want to build bikes on my own on my own time you want to enjoy you know it. i mean like i enjoy yeah. doing it i don't want to have to do it for other people you know well, the problem is you never, once you do it for a living, you don't want to do your own exactly. stuff. Exactly. That's, that's and I don't want to ruin the, the passion of doing right. something like that. Mm. Well, yeah, and we just shot the car for the for Rolling Heavy magazine, so it should be in there next issue, hopefully. That's going to be sick. Um, We're pretty excited about that. Yeah, definitely. We love the magazine. Yeah. Oh, Matt's an awesome dude, and what he's doing is great. Um, he gets, it's cool that he just, like, goes all around the country too yeah. and it He's doesn't even baby. like you go see all these cool ass band shows and all these yeah shows. for sure everything he gets to do for sure um 
what is it about motorcycles that you're so like what do you love about it like what is it about bikes yeah, I don't know I think it's just like a creative freedom that you can just do whatever the whatever you want you know it's it's like art it's your own thing nothing's wrong mm -hmm. you can just build it how you want it to be make it you know it's your own creation and yeah, I don't know that's just what does it for me do you think I'm gonna ask you this do you think he enjoys building them more than riding them <laughs> <laughs> Dick move. Um. Yeah. Hundred yes, percent. Yeah, I would say so. It's watching it go from one thing and evolving into another. I think he gets more jazz out of that than necessarily riding it. It's like he makes it his own kind of thing. Right. He's more of a paint. He's a painter making a painting, and mm -hmm. he's. The riding it is just the thing that comes with it. Because yeah. I know some exactly. people who would much rather ride a bike than build a bike, exactly. right? Yep. And then I've yeah. been somewhere kind of in the middle always. Where, like, I really enjoyed riding motorcycles. And I like building them. But yeah, it's yeah. always, I like, kind of, like, build I love building, them. building them weighs, weighs higher for me 100%. than actually um, riding them. But exactly. when it comes to the vans, I think it's a whole different thing where it's like, oh man, yeah. this is... No, yeah, 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 it is a whole different thing. Yeah. It's a whole it's different like thing. Definitely. Yeah, definitely. Yeah, definitely. Because I, I love building bikes. Yeah. I like riding, but don't get me wrong, I'll put in thousand, thousand miles on hardtail choppers yeah. every year, but when it, like, this is a whole different animal. Yeah. Like, we built it, and now it's fucking done. Now we get to enjoy it. Yeah. Right. And we and take it everywhere. It's reliable, because you yeah. just put a new motor and everything in Everything's new. It. The and only thing can, that isn't new on this drive line, everything, is the transmission. And it fucking runs flawlessly. Yeah. Yeah. Brandy brakes all right, tires, wheels, crate motor, fucking, you name it. It's been done. And it's, I mean, you can take the kids with you. Yeah. So that's we a whole other do. deal. Right. Yeah, they love it. My daughter here. loves this van. I've got kid, like, pictures of her when she was baby. just a teeny little baby playing in this van. Mm -hmm. Before that's it even awesome. had a motor in it. Right. Yeah. yeah. And she would play in the 67 when we had that, like. She's always been around it. Like, she loves it as yeah. much as we do. And how long have you guys had this van? Four. Four years. Yeah. Just Three about, or four just years. Just about four. Like, yeah. Wow. And you were telling me this is the first time you actually like showed it at all. Yeah. 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 yeah we never. That's wild. We don't we show. We up, you know we're just kind of slobs. We just <laughs> live in it. This is yeah. our house. Yeah. It's our but house. then so I kind of hide. Yeah. We kind of hide from like the rest of the van <laughs> show, and we'll just hang out and. Yeah. You know, I'm gonna see you. That's everybody's van. Is like it's their house. Like, yeah. like if we you all... open that, like shit's gonna fall out of there. <laughs> yeah, no, I saw it earlier. It's all jammed in there. It's like, all right, we're gonna sh we're gonna like let's make the bed ish. Yeah. And show the van. Yeah. I'm like why not? We never do it. Cause we just stole power so we could have heat last night. Cause it was fucking freezing. Yeah, it was pretty cold. It was bad. I only know that because I was outside for a little while before I went to my hotel room. But that's only because John got me the hotel room. Otherwise, I'd have been sleeping in that damn building. Dude, it was it cold was, in the building last night. It was here. cold. It got cold. It was like yeah. 34. Yeah. It's going to get cold tonight, too. But we got a little heater. Yeah, that right. heater works wonders. We got the generator. You know. Do you guys do social media at all? Well, I have Instagram? Instagram. She's got Facebook and Instagram. What's your Instagram handle? Uh, Drit Tramp. Drit Tramp. Oh, here. Oh, are you part? Are you in, are you one of those tramp guys? Yeah. Oh, I'm actually, I started it. You started the tramps mm -hmm. with three other of my brothers. But yeah. Well, how have we not? Well, shit! You gotta tell us about that. What a, tell? Tell me what is? Tell everybody the tramps, what the tramps what are. The tramps? Are. Yeah. The tramps is just a, a bunch of pretty much alcoholic bike builders <laughs> that you know we just build choppers and pre eighty four Harley Davidsons and. Ride the shit out of them and camp and enjoy life. It's like, sort of like we're not like an a, MC. You're not. It's like a, it's like a. It's more of like it's just a, a bunch uh, of brothers, like-minded yeah. gentlemen that that it's like a, enjoy uh, the same thing. Like a men's group. Exactly. Like a social club. It's a men's club. There you yeah. go. Yeah. Yeah. We just enjoy drinking and building old bikes and riding the shit out of them. Spending time together yeah. and hanging camping. Out. This. And you can do all that, and and everyone knows. Oh. Hey, these guys are all buddies right. together, right. but you don't have to deal with. It's, right. There's no we have politics. No, no there's back, no like we have. Yeah, you don't have any. We don't claim right. territory. It's no MC. Bullshit. Almost like a car club. Exactly. Right. You right. Know, right. It's just we just a feel good 
good time and having yeah. motorcycle riding motherfuckers. Yeah, and I, I saw a couple of the other guys were here because I yeah. saw them walking around. Mm -hmm. the, and I've seen I've seen this, I mean, probably since 2012. I had yeah. no idea. Dude. Yeah, that's, that's a, yeah, started. that's okay. us. We're out of Rockford, mm -hmm. Illinois. We got guys in uh, Arizona. We got guys in Oregon, uh, Wisconsin, Ohio, Ohio. And, awesome. and they, a lot of them came from here and then like guys would get married and move away and, right. you know, and they just find more like-minded dudes Where that were into the same to. shit and they just, right. you know, branch mm -hmm. out, fire it up. That's awesome. Yeah. It's cool. And I bet a bunch of them are getting vans now too. Dude, they, a lot of them <laughs> have yeah, vans. Yeah. There's like, I got about these three or four dudes up there that have vans that are trans. Yeah. yeah. That's crazy. It because their old ladies drive the vans, you know. It all works yeah. hand in hand. Yeah. So then it I works. like, <laughs> have you? Are you guys starting a women's <laughs> That's what part called the hussies or something? <laughs> there you go, the hussies. Yeah, there you go. Well, I guess if you guys are the tramps, we'd have to figure out what like the masculine version of tramps is, right. and that's what they would for be. the van yeah. chicks. Yeah. Yep. Hell yeah. Yeah. There's a bunch of them. Of the most of our old. Most of us have vans, and usually we're riding, and our, our wives are driving, driving the vans. Mm -hmm. Yeah, that's awesome. It's the party on wheels, man. Yeah, yeah. Then, oh, don't I know? If your shit takes a shit, just throw it in the you van. Throw it in the van, throw or on van. the van, or yeah, you know. yeah. Because there's always one person that's mm -hmm. the shitter van with no interior. Where exactly. You're like, well, that's going in Larry's throw it in the van. van. <laughs> right. It's like having a shitty truck. Yeah. We'll well, hell yeah. So your Instagram again? Drit Tramp. Drit Tramp. Um, Kayla underscore Thomas seven seven. Okay, so anybody can go look look you guys up yeah. and hit you up Don't. if you're... you ain't gonna see anything you like. <laughs> well, you unless know. you want to buy shit, I got Maybe. choppers for sale. He's got choppers for sale. <laughs> You there can you see go. the van. You can follow She'll them for the van stuff. She'll make you stickers and cool wood stuff. Oh yeah, see, there you, yeah. Go. you guys got plenty going on. Oh yeah, We're always doing something. All right, well hey, it was great meeting you guys. Right and on. Stoked. Thank you. Likewise, um, I love coming up to John's shows because it's like. Always a good time. Well, it's always. always a good time, always. and I never leave without making new friends. There you yep. go. And, like, most of them are people that I was telling Zach and I were talking about how I haven't been able to go out of town the last couple of years mm -hmm. for health reasons, and it's it, it's impacted me a lot, and I didn't realize it till recently because I haven't seen Zach in person in, like, two years. Oh. I haven't seen Matt in person in, like, two years. I did. I hadn't seen John for two uh, two years until wow. he came to Kansas City on Labor Day. Okay. So when he came to town, he was like, you know, he stayed at my house. Then it's like, hey, you gotta come. Uh, you're coming to Iron Invasion. I'm like, oh, all right, yeah. I'm coming. And then when I get here, it's like, oh shit, like all ever, like oh, you forget how many people you've become connected Dude, with. Yeah. It's yeah, John Wells has been really good to us. Like, oh, I've had yeah. bikes in his shows and fucking vans and all good, kinds good. of shit. Dude, it's awesome. He's yeah. fucking great. Look if we didn't have him year. doing this stuff, like, I don't think it'd be half. We, like, uh, our, like Torque Fest is our season opener. Yeah. And this is our season closer. Yeah. Yep. And that's what Love we, it. we bank on these every year. It's so dope. Like, he puts on such a good show. Yeah. We fucking love it. Mini bike racing, the hot rods. Like, she's got a 56 Bel Air that we bring and shit like that. Like, oh, Jesus, you got a hot rod too? Yeah, yeah. we didn't bring yeah. it this You guys time. are leaving out all the good stuff. <laughs> yeah, she's got a 50. Yeah. Of course 48. not. Now she's got this van. She's like, fuck that hot yeah, rod. Well, you know, the, you know, I'm trying to keep her driving this so I don't got to fucking, you know, I have a house. Yeah. But she's got a. Well, yeah, yeah it's nice because you don't have to get a hotel Blair. room or anything. Yeah. When, especially up here, because it usually stays pretty cool. Like, yeah, dude, it, it, it has to be pretty deep in the thing. summer like to be. Or I imagine it's got to be pretty, pretty in the middle of summer for you guys to not be able to camp in this thing. We right? don't use this thing like for four months out of the year because we have no yeah. AC. It's hot as hell. Right. Yeah. So you like spring and fall, we use the shit out of it. Right. Oh, yeah. But in the summer, you're like you're like dying hot, like in here. Dead yeah. of July. If it's 75, 80 degrees outside, you are stroke. cooking in this. Yeah. yeah. You know, because none of the windows open. No. Mm -hmm. You got this and that. The side and that's window. it. Yeah. And it's hot. Sounds like somebody needs vintage air for Christmas this year. <laughs> yeah, there yep. you go. <laughs> you got to, somebody buy uh, yeah. a, a bike so that they can put vintage air go. in this van. Yeah. Come yeah. buy a bike so we can. Put some air in this van. 
That'd be great. Well, hell yeah. Again, I appreciate it. I'm stoked I met you guys, and I really thank you for doing this with me. I know. Thank it's, you. I know it's a weird thing to have some dude be like, yes, I'd like to interview you about your car. But yeah, that was cool, man. I, I, I appreciate I, it. I'm really dig on people that, like, do the shit themselves, even though, like, mm. I build hot rods as a living, like, I'm stoked on people that are just like, yeah, no, fuck it, I can do yeah, this. You that's know what, what we mean? do. That DIY we can't to the death. Figure it out. Yeah. Right. I'm not, I'm not into paying people to do shit for me. We yeah. just do it. Hell yeah. No matter what, whether it's right or wrong. <laughs> yeah. It <turns laughs> might great, look like shit, good. but. Yeah, I hey. always like it. Like, I would rather waste a bunch of money learning how to do something mm. than. I, and spend more than what it costs to have somebody do it than not do it myself sometimes. Yeah, exactly. I mean, there's certain things like I can't rebuild the transmission and I can't well, rebuild no, the know, car that, motor. There's stuff that you're so, just going like, to pay people yeah, to do. Yeah, that, right? that's the stuff you have to get done, but everything else is... Yeah. Is, is if it's, it's like I always tell people that we could probably like some interior shit or something like yeah. we can figure that out. Right. It's like this bubble window, right? Like someone made this window. Yeah. Like... Mm-hmm. Back in the seventies. In the seventies. So to think that I, I could at least figure out how it was made, yeah. and then decide from there, do mm-hmm. I want to reproduce that? Like, it's not like all this wooden tier. You'd be it's a like, rich man if you did. <laughs> right. That's what everyone says, and I'm. And there's yeah. times where it's like you're like, I should probably make these windows. Somebody started making them. The, yeah. Uh, oh the, yeah. The custom vanner guy, I think. Yeah. Maybe, that, yep. Making them. Yeah. Or yeah, they figured it out. Like heat up Lexan and pump it up with air. Yeah. Into forms. Like, yeah. Awesome. That's it. That's creative. Good for but you. But if you can, if it's something I'm holding, it got made by humans. Exactly. So that means you can make it again. Exactly. It can be done. Except for now, we just need to get a 3D printer. We can 3D oh, print them out. There you go. Man. That might be the yeah. ticket. Mind blown technology. <laughs> Did it. All right. Well, we'll leave it with that. And I thank you guys again. All right. And we hope to see you. We'll see um, at the next event. Sooner than later. We'll have right to get on. you down to Kansas City because you said your sister, Shit, lives, there. sister lives there. Shit, my sister lives there. Yeah, so you'll be coming through. Still so you're going to have there. to hit me. Oh, my God. I know. you got to come down. That's so terrible. She always says that. we got to come uh, down. Oh, yeah, you'd love it. That's why I'm here. Come check it out. For sure. All right, well, give them a follow. And uh, we'll see you guys in the future. There you go.